promise I did say that I was going to come on and show you guys how to make a rolling tray, a beauty tray, whatever kind of tray you want it to be. You're not going to see me in this video, so I really hope that wasn't your expectation because I look a hot mess. You will see me briefly in a few clips, but I still got my freaking mask on and child. Anyway, so these are the items that you're going to need. You're first of all going to need shipping labels. Now, if you've watched other videos, some people use regular paper, some people use water mark paper, and then other people just use shipping labels. If you use shipping labels, you will need the eight and a half by 11 size. If you have a laser printer, then you'll need this one. If you have an inkjet printer, which I have, then you'll need the one that says inkjet. For whatever reason, I have laser, but it hasn't affected it any differently. You're going to also, of course, need trays. You get these trays from Dollar Tree. They have been on back order for the past month, so good luck finding them. You're going to need some scissors. And you might need this little thing. I think it's called a squeegee. Or I don't know. Anyway, I use this to smooth the surface down in the center. You don't necessarily need this. You can use your finger or whatever is convenient for you. But I use this. And that's it. All right. So for starters, you will need Silhouette Studio. Um, I'll leave the link below. But also, you can just go to Google and type in Silhouette Studio. I'm not sure if you can see my little bar up here, but you should see something that says file. So click file and go to merge. And what we want to do is find the image that we're going to use. And so I found this image or I got this image out of one of the crafting groups that I'm in. And if you send me a message, I can send this to you as well. I have a bunch. But anyway, so you want to resize the image to 8.38 by 11.7. All right, so then we want to line the image up. And then go right here to this four pointed arrow thingy. And we want to click the up arrow three times. All right, so from there, we want to print it. So just print. I'm not going to print because I already did. I'm just doing this to show you guys what to do. So after you print that, you want to go back to that arrow, hit the down arrow three times. And you want to print this as well. So you should have two copies. And that's all you need Silhouette Studio for. After you print it, you should be left with the image like this. You will need two images. With these two images, what you want to do is, of course, the idea is to make the image larger. So what you want to do is just line these up just like this. So it looks like that and you can't really see, but then it makes the image larger. So pretty much you just line it up just like this. You see the second paper right here? Just line it up. So what you're gonna see me do is scoot the paper back just a little bit. I'm gonna draw a line going across the middle. Just like this. 
you can see right here there is a little bit of the tray showing and that's gonna bother me might not bother the custard but it's gonna bother me so I'm going to take these little border pieces that I cut off okay. and I'm just gonna peel this Put it along the border because it's white anyway. And there you go. The whole entire tray is covered. Like I said, you will see like um little wrinkly spots or whatever just from where the paper was bunched up of course but um once we epoxy it it'll be okay so this is part one part two will be me pouring the epoxy 